Hi, Chris. This is Colleen Smith. I am one of the candidates for the learning designer and facilitator position at Cultivate. This is my mini lesson assignment. I sent you a link to the Google Drive. Uh, we have a folder full of story templates, one through six, which is where the survey came in. Uh, we have the facilitator's guide, a mini lesson presentation, the presentation script, and also the story template setup. So what I'm gonna do is open up the facilitator's guide first because it says read me first. <laughs> and what you'll find here on the facilitator's guide that I hope that you will enjoy. Uh, it gives a description, some learning outcomes, and it links to all of the resources that you'll need. And they're all in the Google Drive, so don't worry. Um, uh, you have the background, a little bit of details for you as a facilitator to be familiar with before we start and then some recommended preparation. My recommended preparation is really just to read through the facilitator's guide, open all the resources prior to the training, and read through the presentation script before you actually give the presentation. That seems to help people sometimes. And then review how to manage the breakout rooms in Zoom. Not everyone um, is familiar with all breakout room settings, so just go ahead and review that link for me. All right, so for the mini lesson outline, we'll take four minutes to do an introduction for slides one and two. Um, uh, we've set the presentation up between three different sections, well, four different sections after that. So learn, reflect, design, and practice. So for learn, there are two more slides, slide three and four, and then uh, the reflect has one slide and design has one slide, but this is where the majority of the uh, work is happening. Uh, as you can tell by its six minutes. And then the practice is slide seven. And then that's when you're gonna open up the breakout rooms, then do a 30 second wrap up because this is a quick mini lesson. And then the thank you slide, you don't have to say anything on the thank you slide. It's just an attribution slide, but you'll also see all the links to the resources. The same links as, as above are right here, ready for you to do your mini lesson. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and open up the mini lesson presentation for you. And what we'll do, we'll just go ahead and go through the presentation together so that you can kind of see um, how I would present it, but it's really for you to present. All right, so thank you so much for being here today. We will be engaging in a mini lesson about reflecting, designing, and sharing our team stories. So let's get started. This mini lesson will aid in the practice of creating professional stories for clients. Everyone will be given a, story a storytelling template to design a compelling story by using another teammate's reflection from the survey you completed last week. This mini lesson is a speedy practice in co-creating co compelling stories with clients. Stories can be used to inform, inspire, entertain, persuade, and activate. It's vital that every story has a beginning, middle, and end, and is communicated with a purpose. Stories have the power to make an audience care about and act on information that's being presented. Today, we will review the and, but, and therefore template in the anatomy of a well-designed story. By using the and, but, therefore template, it will help you recognize your thoughts and articulate your story's purpose. According to Randy Olson, storytelling is a universal and powerful tool. He offers the and but therefore template to create a short and compelling story. Here you can see where and but therefore would all fall within Freytag's pyramid. Is anyone familiar with Fre Freytag's pyramid? And this is where you would try to facilitate a quick less than one minute conversation with your team. The pyramid shows the anatomy of a story. This is a simplistic view of the rise and fall of any dramatic structure like a story. Keep the following pieces in mind when you're asked to design your own story. The exposition, and you can read off every definition if you'd like. Uh, depending on how the facilitated conversation goes prior to this, you can either read off each definition just in case and make sure that everybody wants to be on the same page. Or if someone explained it beautifully, then it maybe just kind of point out some of the details that uh, were not covered. 
Both of these models help storytellers organize their thoughts and communicate their stories for their audiences. Storytelling in nature is audience driven because of the necessity to help your audience understand your story through the audience's point of view. So it's all about the audience. So let's take some time to reflect. How would you design your professional story using the quick and but therefore template shown here? Jot some notes down at your desk. Now, I would give the team less than a minute and get this link, copy and paste it and prepare to add it in the chat in Zoom. Then you can say, while you're reflecting a bit on your story, I'm going to put a link in the chat. Click on the link in the chat to claim your story template, one through six. Add your name to the right-hand column by typing in the table under name to claim your story template. So then you paste and press enter into the chat. Next, open the link that corresponds with the template that you claimed to see an example of the activity on page one. When you scroll to page two, you will read about your character's background, motivations, and challenges. Decide on the purpose of your story and use the and but therefore template to design a quick story from your teammate's reflection. So let's go ahead and open up the story template setup page. So that is the link that you actually copied. Um, so let's say someone claims this and that's going to be me. So then if I type my name in, I'm going to copy and paste this for myself. To follow. And it has a bunch of instructions here to explain exactly what you've said already. It gives an example of what we're looking for. And then it reminds your teammates to uh, chat, to send a chat to you directly to Zoom whenever they've completed their, their first and but therefore template. So this is from the uh, survey uh, information. Now everything is anonymous because I didn't have any uh, names attached or associated with the survey. So your teammate will be able to read how someone else described themselves and what someone else said that their challenges was, and then what motivates them as well. And it will be their challenge to decide the purpose of their story and then explain exactly and type out and articulate how they would want to create their story. All right. So then going back here, you would then say next, open the link that corresponds to the template that you claimed to see an example of an activity on page one. Then you scroll to page two. You will read about your character's background, motivations, challenges, and decide on the purpose of your story. Then you'll use the and but therefore template to design a quick story from your teammates reflection. Right. That's what we just saw. All right. So once you've designed your teammate's story, let me know that you're done by sending me a direct chat in the Zoom. You will have four minutes to design your teammate's story. Feel free to turn your video off during this time. So at this point in time, you will actually be taking three minutes to yourself <laughs> and then giving everybody a one minute warning. I always put in, feel free to turn your video off because of Zoom fatigue and we try to fight that as much as possible. So then after your one minute warning and then it becomes four minutes, you'll say thank you everyone for working so hard on designing your teammates' stories. It can sometimes be difficult or feel uncomfortable to create a story for someone else. This quick role play activity will help us all practice in designing impactful stories with purpose so that we can help our clients with telling their stories. This activity can also serve as a team builder as hearing your story from someone else's lens can help instill confidence in your world. It's not often we hear how others perceive our stories, so use this activity as a time to listen with an open mind and use your own creativity to help instill confidence and joy in your teammate. I'm gonna be putting you into breakout rooms with a partner. While you're in the breakout rooms, I encourage you to share your stories with each other, provide feedback on the story design to help you. There are feedback questions to help you 
to help guide your discussion on page three of your story template. So then I would have you copy and paste these bullets and then put them in the chat and say, I'll open out the breakout rooms now. I'll see you in four minutes. So you will kind of go together in Zoom and put everyone in a breakout room, two people to a room. And then after three minutes, you'll give everyone a one minute warning, but you're also welcome to kind of pop into each of the rooms for the next three minutes as well. And then once you pull everybody back, you will close the breakout rooms and then everyone will be back in the main Zoom room. And then you can say, thank you all for participating in this activity. Welcome back to the main room. How was it? And then you pause for a conversation or a dialogue. Is there anyone brave enough to share their story with the whole group? Hopefully there will be so that you all can get either a nice chuckle or uh, be able to work out together why the story was so strong. Then let one or two, two team members, depending on time, because um, I know that this is just a 10 to 15 minute mini lesson, uh, share their stories and see how you all can work together to make them better, to get feedback, to critique and, and tell and I guess discuss why the story was so great. And then you say thank you once again, and I hope to continue practicing storytelling with you. And again, this is the attribution slide. One last thing I wanted to show you was on the Google Drive. So we have the story templates one through six, which is from the story template setup page. So the story template setup page has all six story templates here, right? But if you go to the Google Drive and you open up story templates one through six, you see this plus the feedback questions. So if you ever have a question about what the feedback conversation was supposed to look like, then you can also see this. This is also page three of all the story templates. So this is for the facilitator in general, just to see exactly the questions that they were um, prompted to think about while they were hearing their partner's story. Again, this is you only have four minutes to do this, so it can't get too deep. And if everyone doesn't get to all the questions, then that's okay. But what's important is that both partners are able to hear the story and then critique and give feedback. All right. Well, that is it for the mini lesson assignment. Thank you so much and have a great rest of your evening.